marathon champion, uh, Chicago marathon champion, among other champions that you can ever expect in this world. We are hosting uh, uh, Abel Kirui at his home, and we are expecting him as he plans to prepare for, as he prepares for uh, Milano marathon, uh, set for 60s of this month. We just like to hear much uh, from him to understand how a marathoner can prepare for a race that can take him to to the podium uh, because of the of the covid-19 uh, kindly understand that we are going to put on masks simply because we don't want to be the super spreaders of uh, this disease so um direct we go to mr abel um mr abel thank you very much for welcoming us to your to your home it is a privilege that uh, we are sitting here at your home and just ready for this big interview that uh, we've been expecting. So just uh, to the viewers, just uh, introduce yourself and tell the viewers who Abel Kirui is. Okay, uh, hi viewers. I am Abel Kirui, a double world champion, uh, Olympic silver medalist in 2012 and uh, winner Chicago Marathon. Having run uh, many marathons and make the name of Kenya a big name. Yes, you, you've been one of the most consistent uh, marathoner in Kenya. I think you are one of the few marathoners who has been consistent in terms of uh, running for Kenya and individual races. How has it been just to keep yourself fit for such like a long time? I, I think it, is, it, 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 is, it involves only one main thing, which is called discipline. Well, I am a disciplined uh, athlete by nature, and I believe in uh, focus when it comes to actually especially like uh, raising the flag of Kenya. I know I am carrying uh, uh, over 40 million people for the seven now. So well, I don't take it for as, 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 as a mere thing. But then that, that is the, the big thing I, I have been using uh, in order to achieve my glories to my country. Mm -hmm. uh, d during this uh, Corona period, you know it has been uh, affecting many athletes starting from the young ones to the even elites uh, you as one of the elites how has it been in terms of preparing your uh, many races and doing your own chores in your capacity uh, i think uh, covid actually we don't know the the genesis of this thing but it has affected the really the the young the old the middle and uh, everybody any class it, it it has not spare so i think uh, for us athletes uh, we are uh, financially shocked by this uh, covid because sometimes uh, especially the road racers they used to compete like three times a year or sometimes put four times plus pacing so you can imagine even per capita income in the country is a uh, big uh, problem so when it comes to this uh, going to europe uh, getting something uh, building your nation building your family it is something uh, it, it 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 was shut down so and then and then it comes to actually training itself they sometimes restrict us to train very few people if you are using using fat leg and uh, you are three and you used to used to be uh, five or seven or ten then uh, exchanging that rhythm is totally lost so covid is a big uh, monster yes now coming to to the preparations we had the uh, olympics last year that were postponed you realize that also some of the big events like World Under 20, which is supposed to uh, will be hosted in Kenya, was also postponed, but luckily enough, we'll be hosting this year. Now, uh, just talk about uh, Olympics. Uh, what do you understand by Olympics, you as a, a, a runner who has ever won a medal for Kenya in Olympics? I am telling you. Olympic, when you win Olympic or you get uh, to the podium in Olympic, myself, I, see, I think I shared my ideas because I really wanted it. And I really wanted it uh, four years before Olympic. I think I was lucky to get the world championship. But my focus uh, from 2008, I was, uh, I had read, I had written in my book that I must uh, get to Olympic uh, in the next four years. So my preparation for Olympic started four years earlier. So Olympic is a huge thing. And Kenya, please. Guys, if you are selected and you have the chance to get to Olympic, don't take it for granted. It is an opportunity that comes once in a blue moon. It is not something that should be taken for granted. Called it for uh, 10,000, I saw it is like in Sinus Naphtalis Temu in uh, 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 1968. 
something like that. Yes. Now, suppose it happens that I am Abel Cruy winning Coldy, which has taken such a long time. It is a bit the biggest honor even to, to the state of Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now you are, you are you are a great marathoner, and uh, you are you, you uh, last year when you ran you ran two zero five. In terms uh, during uh, should be Valencia, yeah. maybe and you did not make the team. What can you say about maybe the marathon team that has been selected to run for Kenya? Actually, the team uh, satisfied my heart. I wondered like because maybe our age uh, desires to go there, but then if you see if you see the selection versus time and the history of the uh, of every athlete, you are contented. So I am very contented. I support the guys, and only I say, let these guys, three of them, go to podium. If they go to podium, I don't know what how to celebrate. Maybe I will slaughter the embassy the, the same day. <laughs> yes. You, so you you will celebrate when you are you are, you are yes, yes. even if you are not here. Yes. Yes. For sure, I will celebrate because the, my, my feelings of, is in of Kenya, I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. You remember the first World Championship, we came with a title. Yes. The, 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 we score all of them because I was motivating the guys so much. And I, I like because if you score as three, it is not a person holding, it is a teamwork, which is bigger than one person. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, uh, when we come for uh, Kenyans, you've heard... Uh, Abel has promised that when any Kenyan marathon will be on podium, kujat kulembuze, hapa hapa hapa. So uh, be prepared to come for this big uh, feast that I will not miss. Uh, in fact, we'll be watching Olympics together. Now um, you are preparing for for a very big race at this uh, Milano. Uh, just tell us about maybe your your preparations after missing uh, Mumbai. I think um, one for missing Mumbai also. Of course, I have been to India, where my grandfather went through India the other many years ago, and I think things uh, happen in a way we don't understand. Uh, so because I was uh, like, my, it is closed. The other door is closed, and this door is. It will be my past race to race in uh, in uh, Italy. My coach who trained me to run the, to win uh, Chicago 2016 uh, is uh, from uh, Italy. Renato Canova, that was the trainer of uh, Moses Mosop one time when he was running in Eugene and I was second after loving me two times and <laughs> so I think it is an opportunity to go to Italy I think uh, it is like God plan anyway so my preparation is okay I am hoping to see the podium also there and to carry the name of Kenya now when we go also at, the, at this time we need to do something that uh, attracts the uh, tourism to, to our country so when we go to there we go uh, carry carrying many things discipline and all things that actually bring us uh, good to Kenya uh, you've talked something about uh, tourism attraction you realize now there is a uh, the the corporate world is has been attracted by athletes starting from Eliud Kipchoge who was who is now the ambassador for is it uh, Kenya tourism and then um, uh, Bridget Kosgei uh, now she's uh, she's the ambassador for Stanbic how do you feel now that uh, the corporate world is now encroaching into athletic, into sports specifically athletics to be their their symbol of 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 of, of the nation in terms of uh, selling the country you know it is something uh, it's such a, a joy it is something sometimes we lack words to express these things uh, mr soap because uh, when when an athlete runs and everybody sees uh, from kenya you are from kenya and i wish uh, like uh, all the clothes should be branded the kenya for everybody who is running uh, outside kenya i wish there could be a way where we can approach nike and adidas and other clubs actually to to make all our clothes as kenyans to be mentioned so that actually it can it can actually make the big ladder in in that mm -hmm. so uh, you have said and I have said I think uh, mixing running and uh, and uh, tourism is is very important because we are known because of athletics and we are selling our tourism uh, products mm -hmm. yes now uh, coming to coming to into into Yes, that is, you know, when the son sees the father, that is the pride. And uh, if we are lucky that uh, Abel Gris has a very good family. Now, um, heading into Milano, um, 
Italy is one of the best countries when it comes to organizing uh, many races. Number two, majority of uh, managers come from Italy. So what's the way forward for, an, for Kirui who is now going to compete in Italy where it has many athlete managers? Yeah, of course I know of uh, Italian uh, manager Dr. Rosa, I know of Gianni Di Madonna, and uh, all those other managers. And those are the people we respect, and we, we ought to respect, we need to respect them. Because they have actually uh, touched the Kenyan life in one way or the other. Without that manager, they, they could sometimes could be a challenge for an athlete to, to reach the big. Me being in Global for almost 15 years is because I got a good manager, the right manager, and the manager who supports me both uh, in running and also maybe in, in financial advice. Because he's, he tells me don't buy 10 cars, just the bill, make a bad man, do this, do this. So I, I, th I think Italy is, 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 is part, of, uh, part of us in, in, this, in this career. Mm -hmm. Yes. Financial management. Yeah. <laughs> It has been a challenge for some for some athletes in terms of managing finances. How, how who who should be blamed? Is it the manager? Is it an athlete? Is it who should be blamed for for the some of these um, uh, misuse of of, of funds? Uh, I think myself is uh, first your manager plays his role by organizing the youth race by monitoring monitoring that you run very well. Sometimes they are honest enough to give you the money you need, but then if if your discipline is is a bit low, it is a challenge. Sometimes I don't blame managers. I don't blame anybody. I only invite now Kenya. In, in this uh, survey, which is which is now like global survey, which is going on, that we uh, we we try to make a counselling body whereby they are they can reach athletes as other reaches the athletes to buy the doping. We also need uh, those people who can reach the athlete to keep the correct way of uh, running his life and finance. Mm -hmm. That will be good because if uh, we we like having uh, sometimes seminars, it should not be taking too long seminars to, to come up and to tell athlete you get this, this is the best way to invest. Because if, so you win a $100,000 in a Boston Marathon and the media comes to you, what are you going to use this money, my friend? Do you think you say, I want to go and buy a thousand uh, ships or goods? <laughs> there is a way where you invest the, the big money yes. and how to invest the small money. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if they, they, then that is where, where, where we come to entrepreneurship and management of uh, money. Mm -hmm. So the, 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 the finance is actually an individual thing, but we invite uh, for those uh, big brains, eh? because uh, the people are given the talent talents. Another one talent to the finance and economic, another one is talent to run. You run, the, the money comes to the table. So sometimes you see money like flowers, but then it disappears. So we need uh, actually counselors on how to manage our money. When it comes to financial management, yes. you are one of the best investors. You've done schools and among other things that maybe we, we, can't, we can't really talk about. You have a school. Yeah. You have a school and uh, COVID has also affected you in terms of maybe financial flow. Yeah. Uh, what can you say about uh, your school and uh, maybe what did you face when you had this COVID? The schools were closed. and. We are heading into another uh, 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 cabinet sector for education. Magawa said that uh, the school's calendar will not change, just like the President Uhuru Kenyatta said. Uh, well, uh, you, know, you, know, you know school actually uh, is a business uh, by itself and also, also giving back to the society. My school is Great Joy in Eldoret, uh, which is, uh, which was time, what time is back, it was called Little Joy. And I took the school from the other, the other owners and then I got uh, and developed the school. Uh, and because I knew that I've been getting outside the, the country, I interact with people, maybe, maybe somebody somewhere will be tied to sponsor one child. Uh, and that was my, my main intention of uh, coming up with uh, this, uh, this uh, school. So, but then when COVID came, and it is disappointing everything, we, 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 we take it the way it is. Uh, and because we, we usually believe tomorrow is better than today. Mm -hmm. What's the name of the school again? It is called Creative Educational Center. Mm -hmm. 
in Eldoret uh, near uh, along the in the uh, near the annex near the school of law. Mm -hmm. This is outspan. So um, and it is uh, something you enjoy when you get the good results, when your children perform well, when the, the, the parents are smiling. And when you also also touches because in my school uh, the last results I sponsored the uh, almost five free without paying anything without paying even a single cent they came we and they, they produce number one who uh, uh, never pay anything but now she has uh, she is like might get wings to fly because she got a uh, three eighty two so so you can imagine the lady from the those um, slums is now uh, coming up and getting the big life. So, and she's called Mora, she's a Gisi, not a Kalenjin. I am a Monandi. I am a, I don't like any tri, tri, thing, tribal kind of int. So, I think I came up with this business because I wanted to see any life of a Kenyan getting better. Mm -hmm. Because I, I went through a very challenging life, eh? I told you. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Maybe for, for the sake of uh, <laughs> our listeners who are watching right now, in brief, what are some of the challenges you went through? Because you told me, but you never told uh, Kenyans or our, our, our viewers. Yeah, my, my friend, so when you come from a single parent family, and then uh, you find your family, when I was uh, finishing my high school, the only person who finished the school is Abel Kiru, out of four boys in the family, eh? And then when you finish the school, it's only one car which unite us during the morning. For, to get there uh, only for milk, yeah, I mean the milk that can unite us for maybe morning breakfast, chai, tea. Mm. You understand? Mm. Then you understand life is, is, is very cruel. Mm. So when you, God has blessed has blessed you, you need also to be a blessing to another person. Mm. That is the brief life I went through. Mm -hmm. Yes. Just tell, some, tell Maro something. Just, uh, just, just uh, yes, Marwa. You know, yeah. there's something about Marwa. There's something that connects you, connects you and Nelson Marwa. I think Marwa. I have been invited him through SMSs to come to me, my place. Actually, he knows what he did to my life, and I told you, Marwa. I was in the recruiting line, and I was pushed outside the, the lane, and he said, "Be this boy. What is wrong with this boy?" And I think it is like the spirit of God came through Marwa. And he said, this boy is okay. And then we were finishing running as nine people. And I think I was like halfway the track ahead of the others. Halfway, like 200 meters ahead. And then Mark was saying, this is the one I like. He's going to run for administration police. And that is the power of uh, God through Marwa. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if we meet Marwa right now, what can you tell him? Ah, I don't know the much I can see, but uh, you see the joy supersedes everything. <laughs> if he can come and, and stay in my home, he can stay even the whole year, the whole year, the whole man, or the time he wants to stay with me, he will stay like my father because he's older, eh? and I will like him to be my father because he did amazing thing. Same to uh, Mr. Mbukwa, because uh, he, I rise through his hands. Remember, I had president when he was the minister of uh, finance, eh? when I got the award 209. Mm -hmm. So I have been through this uh, big mm -hmm. Yes. So all these people you, you've been interacting all through, uh, just through athletics? Yes, through athletics. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Through this talent. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, um, as we wind up, uh, let's just talk about, um, just you need to say something about the World relays that came to an end yesterday. I'm very sure you've been uh, following up one, one, two, three. So, so we end up just tell us about uh, what, what, what was your experience when you saw Kenyans in uh, maybe taking up uh, sprints, in especially the world relays. Uh, I knew Kenyans anyway. It's, n it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not an easy. Eh? Kenyamal, we stay together. He's my close friend. And I knew it. Uh, what happens to Kenya, we say thank you, congratulations. Let us maintain that spirit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now, uh, three, um, we've had this problem about um, young athletes failing to transit into senior ranks, simply because of uh, some of their known reasons. What advice can you give to some of these young athletes? Uh, because you've run for so long. Yeah, some athletes are taking shortcuts. Eh? You, you see why some few elements are spoiling the, 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 the old small meals in the table of Kenya. I call meal because it's soap. If, if you prepare the, the most delicious meal in the world, and then 
all of a sudden maybe a boy can pass through and drop an, a small drop a hint of a drop or maybe um we call it uh, a car sites or or uh, this um this medicine which you use to spray or uh, chemicals we use to spray cows you know it can spoil everything the whole meal will become a disaster so these small elements i don't know how are we going to to let them follow the the, the, the life of kenya so first is the uh, doping which which is actually uh, coming maybe through these uh, guys who need to, to get the big hunting in a very short day, short way and then also people can jump to marathon before they go slowly graduating slowly ending up losing the career because uh, sometimes i can say marathon is for everybody but it is not for everybody sometimes if your muscles are not strong enough to to get to marathon you may get an injury which can rule you out of sport so I think uh, it is patience. Be patient, guys. Be patient. Even a child is born and their mother is happy. Their parents are happy that after 40 years, we shall enjoy. We are going to, to have a breath out of this small child. So I think, I think we need to learn from simple things like that. That you, we grow slowly. We are developing all. We are Kenya. We are growing. So we, we, we shall reach. We, we shall reach where we are going. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, um, uh, as, as we come to an end, uh, uh, Mr. Kiroi, there is something you said when you won Chicago Marathon. Yeah. You wanted to do something In American on American soil. soil. Yes. And it happened. Yes. How was that feeling like when you crossed that line and you knew that you are the champion there is a lady in uh, from wales uh, uk she told me which race are you the, do you like most i don't i think the most exciting race is chicago because i wanted to win something in a super power wall i wanted to win this race because uh, dixon chumba was a big challenge to me the last two kilometers was not an easy I, if you see all the cliffs i have been competing i have never have a, uh, have a challenge like the challenge I got uh, through Dixon Chumba in Chicago. So that remains in my inner mind for many, many years because I fight up to the end. If you fight and win up to the end, that is the erasing that can never be erased. Okay. Yes. So, uh, viewers, thank you very much for uh, listening to, to Abel Kruy. Let us cheer him when he competes at the Milano, Milano Marathon in two weeks' time. That will be on 16th of, of May 2021. And then we prepare to eat goat in this compound. When any Kenyan will, will be on the podium when it comes to Olympics. Thank you very much and see you next week. My name is Sabuni. Wasabuni.